sitting here waiting to board you can see in the background we're at gate f11 and there's lines are really long so i don't understand we don't understand why people like to get on the plane just to sit there longer so we're gonna sit out here for a little bit we just got out of the united club which was nice it was a little warm but uh hopefully we'll, we'll get on this plane soon and um head home mm -hmm. all right guys this is gonna be our last vlog of the trip we have landed safely in houston picked up michael's truck and are heading back um home um think we're both happy to be home but sad the trip's over um on our way back we were already planning out the next trip to napa and figuring out all the wineries we would go to and the new places we would try out for food um so we're looking forward to that not sure when that's going to be but um yeah, i'm always excited for a new napa trip yeah definitely um you know we miss a restaurant last night I guess because of because of me um, I uh, better mention that I was uh, wasn't feeling well right before our, our um, dinner appointment not sure what happened I um, was feeling fine until about what, 30 minutes half an hour before um, our dinner reservation and then all of a sudden just wasn't feeling right but um, I have a feeling that I was just uh, a little over served, um, but so nothing from just being sick or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Just I'm, I'm pretty sure it's um, a little yeah. bit too much red wine is what it was. Yeah, he woke up feeling fine and I on the other hand did not wake up feeling fine. So it's been a rough travel day for me, um, but we are home. Um, wanted to make sure everybody knew we weren't exposing anybody to anything contagious. We both 
realize what was going on um, and we thought it was safe to travel. Um, so yeah, uh, we are home and the traffic is here. So uh, yeah, for, um, our, our seats on yes, the plane were yes. great. Priority or um, premium. Premium something. Yeah, um, we'll have to look it up and uh, add a text for uh, what it actually was. But extra leg room, we were at the bulkhead as well. So it was a little unfortunate that all of our bags had to be stowed overhead uh, for such a long flight. Um, but we had leg room for days, so that was awesome. Um, we will probably be doing that again. Yeah, um, definitely worth it. But anyways, we are home. It's about six o'clock on Friday afternoon, so uh, we'll hit rush hour traffic, and um, we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, so wanted to be able to show you um, how we're going to get all these bottles of wine and sparkling um, back home. So one thing when we were here back in November, um, we borrowed a wine suitcase from Claire's brother, John. Um, and we found that one, it was um, pretty easy to, to use to roll around and to be able to get 24 bottles back home. And um, because if you were to try to ship these back home, I mean, for us in Texas, it's, it, you know, you would have to go out and buy a box, a special box that has styrofoam in it um, and then pay for shipping. So for, for us to ship from California back to Texas, you know, that could be easily maybe $15 for the box or $20 for the box and another $50, $60 to ship it back. So um, for us shipping 24 bottles, that man, easily could be over $100. So um, so what we, so what I ended up doing is we liked the suitcases so much, uh, knowing that we would be coming back to Napa, didn't think we would come back this soon. I think it's been like eight months, but um, I wanted to be able to to have them so we didn't have to constantly borrow them from, from John. So I um, believe it was for Christmas, had the idea of buying Claire um, one of these suitcases and of course ended up buying one for myself too because we bring 12 bottles isn't enough, so needed two suitcases. But anyways, we both have one now. Um, so I wanted to be able to show it to you guys because it's something we would definitely recommend having, especially if you're going to travel to Napa or to any winery like in Oregon or um, Fredericksburg, which is nearby um, where we live. So what we bought um, was this suitcase here called uh, the Vingard Valise. Um, it's a pretty nice looking suitcase. As you can see, it looks like a normal looking suitcase until you open it up, um, which again, this particular model holds 12 bottles. Um, it rolls really well. Um, and of course has um, this, this little thing to be able to, to pull it along. Um, now, one thing with us flying domestic, um, specifically with United, you're only allowed to carry uh, or check in 50 pounds of bag. So um, they've weighted this particular bag perfectly. I'm not exactly sure um, what the weight is, but what I'll do is put a, uh, a link to in the description for this particular suitcase so you can order one for yourself. Um, once it's fully filled with 12 bottles, um, the weight almost pretty much comes in right at 50 pounds. And I think when we did this back in November, um, we were right at 48, 49 pounds and it was, it was perfect. So, um, the nice thing about that is you're not obviously getting charged, um, extra weight fee, uh, from the airport. Um, luckily for us though, with United, we're United club members kind of sounds bougie, but the, the best part about it are, are really three things in my opinion. One is that you're, you're able to check in two bags for free, um, which of course uh, we're checking these in. So that takes care of one. 
um, item. And then uh, priority bags, which uh, you get the priority tag on your bag. So ideally they would come off the plane um, first. And so you could get, get in and out of baggage claim fairly quickly. Now, that didn't obviously happen for us, as we mentioned the other day. Um, definitely weren't priority. They came off with everybody else, but which is fine. Um, we were able to get get here in Napa and no big deal, right? But and then the the third thing, probably one of our favorite things, is access to the United Club, um, and that's at any United Club in, in any airport. And we spent time. Um, Tuesday at the United Club before we got on the plane and hopefully we'll get to spend time again tomorrow in the United Club. We have a little bit little bit of a commute back to the airport, but um, hopefully we'll get to at least um, go in there for a little bit and check it out. But what I want to be able to do again is, is show you the suitcase a little bit more. Um, I'm going to open it up, put some bottles in it so you can see exactly what it looks like. Um, again, highly recommend one of these because they're very, very um, convenient. So let's take a look. As you can see here, as we open this up a little bit more, there's this uh, piece of foam that separates the two sides. Now, each side holds six bottles, so, and they're pretty identical. Sides, but you know they each have these these compartments, and then we get into um, these two straps here that hold down this other piece of foam. So it's and if you look at the foam, I mean, it's like probably an inch thick. So you have an inch foam in in between the two compartments. You got another inch thick foam um, that basically right up against the the bottles, and then. Each compartment has, you know, these these little sections to, to, to place your bottles. And they're, man, they're ex extremely well padded. Um, like I said, when we used this back in November, it, it was it was awesome. So what I'm going to do is, is go ahead and put a couple bottles in here. Put this fancy nickel and nickel Merlot that we enjoyed. And then there's also these additional pads that you could take um, in and out, like for example, this piece, if the bottle is what, a little bit longer or, or whatever, to, to be able to, you know, for these bottles to fit in snugly, pretty snug. So that's like a typical um, wine bottle. Now what I have here is a bottle of Santana, which, if you were to compare the two, um, they're totally different sizes, right? So uh, what's nice about, about the suitcase is that it fits pretty much a, a sparkling bottle, a regular wine bottle, a Pinot Noir bottle fairly well. So put this in here. And it fits really nicely in here. Um, and then, like I said, a Pinot Noir bottle, which is a little bit different. It's almost, I don't know, like the in-between size of a regular wine bottle and a sparkling bottle. But uh, again, this, this fits just fine, too. So putting this all back together, got this uh, piece of foam that we took out earlier. Slide that foam back in place we got these two straps again that hold hold everything down just like that this little section that you just zip back up and then again there's a, again the foam that that was separating one side and then the other side so And just close it back up like a normal suitcase. Zip it back up. 
actually on the top part here, um, you got this, this section where you could, um, where you put these, put the little zippers on. So they just click into place. And like that. And it has this little dial so you could, you know, lock it up. Um, and then it's obviously has a TSA lock. So TSA can get it to your, to your luggage too. Um, but that's it. Again, this is the, the Vingard Glace um, wine suitcase holds this particular model holds up to 12. I believe there's one that holds eight or 10, um, but we have we have two of these and, and enjoy them. Um, but like I said earlier, I'll put a link to the uh, to this bag down below in the description and uh, so you guys can check it out for yourself. But once it's fully filled, 